Hello, my name is Preet and I'm a third year medical student. Um, I'm going to tell you today about my experience in three years, uh, which subjects you should focus, which are less important. Okay, I will not say less important, but where you should put your focus more, uh, because I wish I would have known which subjects are harder, which subjects are like less, um, which are easier to like cover. So I will give you some tips. In first year, you have biology, chemistry, physics, um, cytology, and uh, Anatomy, of course. Uh, anatomy is uh, like a subject which goes towards uh, second year as well. So the subjects I I personally focused on was cytology in first in the beginning because your exam in cytology is in January. So I will recommend you to focus on cytology more in the beginning. Visit the lectures. Lectures were good, and uh, you should use lectures and uh, lecture slides and um, a book which will be recommended by your professor. Uh, together to study uh, to make your notes and I would recommend you to make your notes um, while you're you're having your semester your classes go prepare to your seminars so which will help you at the end because psychology was the exam which was uh, because, because it's the beginning so you are not used to it you don't know how the exam so this is your first exam it is better uh, to study throughout the semester psychology because it's your first exam I said as I said so um, it's better to study constantly than cram cramming at the end of course you should also focus on um, biology which is like your exam end of the uh, first year um, biology is like too much like its syllabus is huge so it is better you take notes, every, you go prepare to some, some seminar, you take notes, you attend the lectures. Um, this is really, uh, for first year student, it is an overwhelming subject, biology. So this is a, one of the biggest uh, exam at the end. So end of the first year. Uh, and I would recommend as well that you focus on biology as, um, as much as you can. So other subjects like uh, chemistry or physics, which most of the people have in A-levels, they have already a base. So some of them have to focus on that subject uh, uh, less than the others which like maybe for example I was a little bit weak in physics so I had to focus more on the physics than the chemistry so uh, it depends on how, how how is your like knowledge level in that these subjects so um, look at the syllabus in the beginning uh, which points you are uh, missing so go, go through these points make your notes to, toward the semester ask questions uh, in seminars about these subjects as well uh, but these are doable if you like um, study like two months before or one month before your exam of course don't forget anatomy because anatomy is like going for two years you will have your exam in Sofia the university you will have your exam at the end of the second year which is like a very overwhelming subject and uh, you should study in first year as well visit uh, visit the lectures lectures were very good in anatomy we had like very good lecture and uh, uh, the lectures and the seminars go prepare to that because they are, these are practicals so more you look in 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 practicals more you can like memorize because it's just memorizing less understanding so as i said focus on anatomy as well of course there are also another subjects like bulgarian latin and sports um but as i mentioned i will focus on the subjects which are harder like in exam like exams are like heavier and you have more stuff so i will focus on these subjects that's why i'm giving uh, more tips about these subjects like cytology and biology and anatomy so in second year uh, you have um the heavier subjects are of course anatomy which is continuing for the first year uh, anatomy is like overwhelming subject I will start with that um, this was my hardest exam ever like until now uh, date like I'm in third year I'm still like anatomy was for me hard um, because it's not like you, you you can't understand that it's just so overwhelming there's so many like syllabus point is like too many syllabus points and you topics are huge and you have to know everything and it connects everything and just too much memorizing so that's why it's important if you just revise constantly you are like doing visiting your seminar prepared and visiting your lectures so it is really important um, that you are like revising every day I'm not even <laughs> kidding you have to revise every day otherwise it's at the end or, or even constantly you, you should have a like in the week like two three days for anatomy that what I did like I did the mistake I didn't do that I like had less time I was focusing on other subjects so of course you have to but I would recommend if you get the time please focus on anatomy more and the other subject is I would recommend is the physiology physiology was also like it is less memorizing of course it's more understanding so it goes like quicker than anatomy you, you have of course it's also overwhelming subject it has also huge huge syllabus 
and you should focus on that as well you should go prepared they have also practical parts which are like which you have at the end uh, of the second year the exam with practical and the theory so be prepared in the, if you go prepared to seminars and we make make your notes at the end you will have no problems you will just go through your notes study well and you will be fine for the physiology exam the third important subject in uh, second year uh, personally i think is biochemistry uh, biochemistry is um, also like more understanding of course there are like so many cycles which you have to remember like memorize so if you like uh, memorize these cycles uh, like on weekly basis once a week go through your one topic in biochemistry make your notes weekly that would be fine as well at the end but if you have to be constantly also working on biochemistry so don't forget biochemistry while you're doing anatomy and physiology so in second year, you also have biophysics, statistics, and psychology, and also some other subjects. Uh, personally, I focus on more on uh, physiology, anatomy, and um, biochemistry because they were for me more harder. So as uh, you again, I will say, look at the syllabus point. What you find more harder, go through it like more than the other subjects. So for third year, uh, you have uh, in the beginning you have medical genetics. The exam is in January, which I just recently had it. Like. Um, I will personally recommend visit the lectures. Lectures was actually amazing. The, the, our, the whole medical genetics department, I think they do amazing, amazing job. They have like, they provide you with materials so much. The, the lectures are so good. And also the teachers, they just explain everything if you want. Um, like, like you, they, even they take time for you. They, the, our teacher, for example, he did like 30 minute classes extra because he, he, he was not sure the syllabus was like so overwhelming for that short of um, span of time. So he was doing extra 30 minutes of classes every every week. So we had to like we cover the syllabus. Um, so and I recommend again, take notes during this lectures, take notes during the semester, ask your teacher questions because this um, is again medical genetics understanding, but also um, very uh, there's so much stuff which you have to like memorize for example there's so many genes you have to memorize diseases symptoms and you get a, it's like three parts of the exam you have first multiple choice questions you have practical part then you have the theory part it's like long exam so i would recommend you to focus in the beginning of the third year on medical genetics another uh, overwhelming subjects which i think in third year are uh, pharmacology and pathophysiology so they are they have a huge syllabus so i will focus in beginning of the third year like straight from beginning of the third year on, on pharmacology and pathophysiology because these exams are uh, going to be like the harder one in third years these are the hardest so um, i will personally recommend everyone in starting the third year make make sure you start making notes for pharmacology in the beginning with every seminar with every lecture just make sure you go and visit every pharmacology lecture visit every seminar and prepared as well and so is for pathophysiology, which is less overwhelming than pharmacology, personally, I think. And um, this is more understanding pathophysiology and very interesting subject. And um, in the third year, it's going to be more interesting. It's not only theoretical because you have also practical part, which is internal medicine and general surgery. Internal medicine, you have more contact with patients. Um, you, you will learn more uh, like um, practical skills, how to examine them, them uh, like also an anamnesis and stuff like that. It's very interesting. So you, you actually think like actually feel like you're doing something. You're in medicine, you're going to hospital, you're seeing other patients and it's really uh, like motivating as well in third year. Uh, the, another exam, uh, another subject is general surgery, where we uh, recently we learned some uh, suturing stuff, and st this was so interesting. They showed us some other skills as well, and that was actually very fun as well. So another subject is microbiology, uh, which I personally um, find very hard because it's again very, so much memorizing at the end. So I have started making notes, but it's it's dragging because I'm focusing more on pharmacology and physiology, which is like which I think more harder, but I think microbiology is on the same level because it is more memorizing. So you have to revise, revise, revise. So to keep like the knowledge in your um, brain. So again, cons consistency is here again, the key. So be prepared for the seminars as well and um, visit the lectures, which will help you at the end as well. There's another subject, pathology. Uh, we have in third year, like throughout the year, but the exam for pathology is in fourth year. Uh, the thing is for pathology, but you can do your practical part in the third year, which is like just look uh, uh, identifying the slides. So if you did, if you 
focus on pathology in third year you can have like half of the burden for the fourth year because you can finish half of the exam in third year doing the practical which will ease your burden for fourth year which is theoretical part which pathology is again a huge subject for fourth year exam so i will recommend if you can if you have time just do the do your slides and um go to the lab and focus on pathology as well so personally, when I started uh, medical school, it was hard because first of all, you have to figure out how you can study the best. Um, because it took me personally so much time to figure out what I, what is my study, um, you know, techniques. People study alone, people study in groups, uh, reading, writing. But I knew from the beginning because um, I am the person who writes a lot, writes a lot. I write everything out, which is actually time consuming. Uh, but unless I don't write, I think it's not in my brain, so I have to write it. This was my one of the, my techniques that I write down. And also I revise, I revise a lot. Because this is for my childhood habit, which my mom gave me. You have to like revise, revise, revise. That's how she thinks. She was like, it is, it will stick in your head. Otherwise, um, maybe you will forget. And that's also in medical school. You need it, revision, repetition, you re repeat, repeat, repeat. You need it in the medical school. And second, which helped me a lot is, uh, study group uh, we have a small study group and I have also my study buddy and she is like we she she like for so example she does a one syllabus point I did another syllabus point and we teach either teach teach each other that's how our exams as well are because we have to talk for our exams to, to front of the teachers so if you have someone that would be help if you think you can study with someone you have someone with, who you can rely on it's not just uh, just talking with them just like study study type uh, they should be also you like um you know study partners they should be on the same level so you study with them and it will help it will let it will be less time consuming and it will also help you like uh, cover the syllabus like uh, very fast i hope i could help you with my experience and uh, if you have any questions towards any subjects any uh, any question any other information you want just write down uh, below the comment section and i will try to help you